Hey, fifth grade. This week in math, our learning target has to do with order of operations and numerical expressions. I can use parentheses and brackets to write a numerical expression and solve using order of operations. Order of operations, you might have also heard this as PEMDAS, or maybe you've heard the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What this means is that we have to solve an expression in a specific order. If we don't all follow the same order, we might end up with different answers to the same problem. So order of operations keeps us all in line. The first step is always parentheses. Parentheses also include brackets, those straight lines with the top notch in at the bottom. Second step is exponents. Here's an example of an exponent. Step number three is multiplication and division. Now these go together, but we solve them in order from left to right. So you look in the problem. In this example, six times five is the first problem that shows up on the left. So we would solve six times five equals 30 first. Then we would do 30 divided by three because that's further to the right. 30 divided by three equals 10 would be how we would solve in this part. The last step of order of operations is addition and subtraction. Again, left to right. So 12 minus seven is five, five plus eight equals 13. Let's try this in action here. Bob had to pay $30 for his breakfast and lunch on a two day trip. Each day he spent $3 on breakfast and $7 on lunch. How much money did he have left at the end of the trip? We need to use our order of operations here. So this problem can be written out as this expression here. We see the three plus seven in parentheses because that's how much he spent in one day on food for breakfast and lunch. Then we see that three plus seven is multiplied times two within some brackets. That's because he was on a two day trip. So here's the total amount for each day times how many days he went on that trip. And then the 30 on the outside is what we'll subtract from to figure out what's left over. So as I look at my order of operations, I start with parentheses. First, I see three plus seven in parentheses. Three plus seven is 10. I also have the rest of this piece in brackets over here. Brackets are part of the parentheses step. Brackets 10 times two now would be 20. I'll solve this piece. And I go to my final step here. Each time I like to rewrite the problem to keep everything organized. I don't have any exponents. I don't have any multiplication or division, but look on my addition subtraction step, I can solve out my problem. 30 minus 20 equals 10. So Bob had $10 left over at the end of his trip. Thanks fifth grade. Great job with order of operations.